Right, so uh, we chopped the uh, angles. It's not very good. We still need to fill this with weld along here. Um, so this is what it looks like. Do you want to just put the uh, that bit on so it looks like the... Uh, it's going to look like that with a wheel. Another wheel. And a straight pipe or something. It's still annoying. Yeah, you've got to make a straight pipe. Yeah. You have to cut this here. Cut it there and then weld on some pipe, but shouldn't yeah. be too hard because the muffler hits. So unless we, unless we turn it around like that. Oh, and the uh, that's off center. Plan just to be turned around. Yeah. So, all right. So we'll figure it out. But um, yeah, it's we're just gonna cut this on more of an angle for that for, the for rake. that rake. But um, yeah, then these little. Buddies here. Gonna come around like that in that in section. Just around there. Yeah, well in there. Something like that. Then the wheel's gonna go there. Right now what we're doing is we haven't welded it yet. Um what we're doing right now is we're measuring up the angles because this is the main bar and this is the uh, bar that's gonna be like this. Um that sort of sits like that, like that, um, and we're trying to get these angles right because there was always big gaps in between here. Um, so yeah, we've cut everything, and um, Brendan is just about to weld it all up. Hopefully, he does a good job. Uh, no doubt that he will. Um, yeah, so um, we've had a bit of problems with like fitting the engine because we've already taken the muffler off, um, and. Yeah, so it's going to be a tight squeeze. There's only about two millimeters between uh, the overhead valve cover and the um, and that bar there. So yeah, it's going to be quite a tight squeeze. Um, it's either that or we use this two horsepower engine. Um, we're actually thinking of doing this because it's got a better idle speed, so you'll sound more like a chopper when it's idling. Uh, you know, why have a chopper if it doesn't idle low? So, um, but this thing runs quite well actually. Um, I'll give it a little run. Oh, actually, I won't, because um, camera will probably turn up. But um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, just a quick update on Brendan V's channel. Okay, so this is what we've built so far for our chopper. Welded up the um, frame here, and just cut these little lengths here for the back wheel. It's not ultra size yet, of course. I have to grind these a little bit shorter because um, this axle is a little bit too small yet. Yeah. Doesn't give it enough to bolt on with. And then I've got to, uh, then we got to cut a little bit out of this and weld it onto there so the engine can mount there. Not really sure if we're going to use the Honda yet or the Briggs because the Honda, pretty sure the rigs are, rings are gone because it um, doesn't really want to idle. So after we've done that, we'll um, chop it about there and mount and like weld a bar across here and mount the brake calipers there, the little yeah, pull-in brake thingies, and mount the wheel in there and then chop that to size. And uh, then we'll chop up the bike and weld in the forks and then weld in a seat post up there. And that's basically it. But... It's easier said than done. Yeah, it's a bit of finicky stuff like hooking up throttle cables and brakes and all that it takes a long time. So we've got most of it done. We still got a bit of light left, so we'll keep working for a bit longer. We got tomorrow. I mean, we got tomorrow as well and Friday. So we'll uh, weld this up today. Hopefully, get that wheel mounted, and then chop up the bike and maybe get started on the front part of it. But we'll see how things go, so that's how it's going so far, and see you later. Alrighty, the chopper is looking pretty nice. Blair's just grinding uh, the paint off the edges so we can weld the next piece on. And, uh, geez, I almost got sparks in my face there. So you can see the chopper is looking pretty good. I'll show you more in a second. Um, we were going to use the Honda, but um, it's just going to be too hard, you know, hooking up the throttle and everything, and um, 
It doesn't really start as well as what my Briggs does. My Briggs really reliable. So we're gonna make the Briggs straight pipe. So I've taken the exhaust and intake port on, port off. You see how clean they are. So what we're gonna do, this is like the exhaust. And we're gonna have an L piece here, and then we're gonna get another one of these and put an L piece there. And then run, oh, where's my straight pipe? I don't know, run the straight pipe down. So it'll be straight pipes, it'll be pretty loud and look like a Harley. So this is what we've done so far. Welded up this one on there. That's not very nice. And then this one, if I can stand it up again, I kicked over. That will go on there. And we'll cut those to size. And then the wheel, wherever it is, right here, will go there. And we'll weld little pieces of thing for the wheel to sit in. And then the engine will go in the center there and run back to the sprocket. And it's going to be a shitload of chain, but oh. And then the rake is set at lots. <laughs> Lots. Very scientific. And the rake is quite a lot, so it's gonna look pretty wicked. And yeah, that's about all. And we'll do the rest tomorrow, so see you later. Okay, sea change for us or Blair's welding. Good. Not bad, not bad.